The Milky Way galaxy is 13.2 billion years old. It contains upwards of 400 billion stars and probably well over 500 billion planets. Given how long our galaxy has been around and how many potential stars and planets life could have long since evolved from and on, the most incredible contemplation takes hold of oneself. Where is everybody? Such a colossal amount of time and so many environments and chances for life to have arisen and done so a long, long time ago. Why is there no evidence of, nor has there ever been a single convincing or factually understood contact with any extraterrestrial life, let alone intelligent life? One answer to this seeming paradox is given in Stephen Webb's great book, If the Universe is Teeming with Aliens, Where is Everybody? Perhaps the reason why there is no sign of extraterrestrial intelligence in our galaxy, nor any factually understood instances of contact with them, is because our solar system may not be worth anything to advanced alien life. Advanced K2 civilizations are likely not to have any use for a G2 star like our sun. K2 civilizations have the technological capability to create Dyson spheres that completely enclose stars. This allows them to utilize all the star's energy, since it would be able to do this around any star it visited in its generationship it would not need to bother with our sun, since it can attain massively more energy from stars of spectral class O. As Stephen Webb points out, a star of spectral class O5 pumps out 800,000 times more energy than our sun. So advanced extraterrestrials could simply roam from O-type star to O-type star, enjoying the energy of that star for millions of years, and then nomadically move to the next one, completely avoiding our solar system since there are better and more attractive places to have their energy needs met. This is a very interesting answer and may be what accounts for the intelligent silence.